O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions to you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 540, NASDAQ up 291, SP's up 80. Gold, gold contract up $2.10 trading at 1998 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $25.20 .20 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 49 cents. $74.79 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 25 ticks, trading 114.24. The 30-year up a full point, plus 10 ticks at 130.13 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now, I just rearranged these. There we go. Uh, up 19 ticks at 101.487. The euro is at, where did I put the euro? What did you do to me here? A uh, euro is at 110. The uh, Yen is at the 133, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What, what do you have? Well, first off, indice-wise, folks, the Nasdaq's up 2.48 percent. The uh, S&Ps 1.9, and the Dow Industrial's 1.6. We get over and we take a look at the SPY. You're going up on light volume, so bottom line, we'll see where this shakes out. This afternoon, we get some more earnings, but this is all about the dollar still. I mean, this is, well, it's all, it's, you had some earnings. We'll go into them, too, but the bottom line, you can see what's happening out here. You, right now, you only have 58 million shares traded. Even yesterday, which was a, a somewhat of a contraction from the day before, we had 80 million. The day prior to that, you had 97, and you're going into 101 million shares. So that's telling me that you still got a down market. We go into the Qs. The Qs want to go hit that uh, that swing up there. The Qs right now, bottom line, they they're going to have some volume. Well, they have 42 million right now. We came down with 57, so they'll do 57. And the swing up here only has what is that? That is only at 45. So that's going to get up there. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. There's been a sideways move with the gold contract, but you still have volume, which is good. We have 194,000 contracts. It rejected 1982. You're at 1998 right now. Now, what should have happened with gold is that gold should have went a lot higher today. The reason being is that if we go over to the dollar index, what you're going to see here is that that good old dollar index couldn't hold price today. And that's why you can see this market getting a, a monster move higher. We take a look at the dollar. What you're going to see out here is that yesterday, bottom line, it gave it up on price. Today, it got to a price point of 101,802, and now you're at 101,487. So it's, it's basically, you, you can't hold price, man. If you can't hold price, that's saying it's going to go down and try to test the lows once again, which you can see what happens. It gives the market huge relief. We go into the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. There she is. So you got Meta up 15%. You got Lucin up 12%. Comcast is up 10%, uh, taken away from it. Align Technologies is off 10%. What is this one? Oh, Keurig Dr. Pepper. That's off 4.5%. Uh, Illumina is off 3.3%. 3, 3 and Microchip Technologies is off 2.9%. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength and weakness versus the Dow Industrials point-wise. You get, uh, let's see, Microsoft's putting six, well, first off, there's only two negative stocks inside the Dow. Caterpillar's putting a minus 13 points. Yeah, that's about it, basically. Uh, Strength-wise, you get uh, Microsoft putting a positive 61, Honeywell 48, United Health 46. And let's go over to Amazon, because I believe Amazon's going to be coming out with numbers after the close today. Amazon, the low is 81, the high is 146. You're trading 109. Now, remember, Amazon had this high volume spike that it's going after. Now, that being said, it looks to me, yeah, so what, check this out. Amazon's going to be an ABC up. Now, watch this. This is kind of cool, actually. 
So the B point, taking the B point out today, that's 109. Your A, so we get a 12 point A to B. That's going to give you 119. So that's saying that Amazon's going to come out with good numbers. 119, the swing, high volume swing is 114. You know, so we'll see how this shakes out. You know, that, that's, uh, let me pull this back a little bit more. I'm just curious as to what this would be. Take a look at this. Yeah, well, it, it won't be a larger ABC up but, um, on the weekly. But the bottom line, it looks to me like Amazon's going to come up with decent numbers. Uh, revenue, this is what they're going to be looking for on Amazon. They're going to be looking for to do $124 billion to the top line, uh, $0.21 cents to the bottom line. They're still growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, in the United States, you're growing by, well, North America, you're growing by 7% a year. Internationally, you're growing by 5.5% a year. Web services are growing by 10% a year. Monster numbers, man. That's, the, the, there's no doubt that those are monster numbers. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Now, the mind blower, no doubt, is going to be the aspect that you're going to be higher and you have a contraction of volume on many equities. Tesla's up $6 right now. You got, uh, let me see, what is VZ? It looked to me like VZ, Verizon was moving too. Is that, no, VZ. Yeah, I guess it's got some movement. It must have come up with numbers. Now, that's a, that's a difference than Marbell. That's interesting. Okay, so. Yeah, no, that's just, that's just moving, man. That's, that's the bottom line. That's just moving out here. Um, Apple. Let's go take a look at Apple out here. Yeah, Apple, Apple's, you know, Apple's struggling. You know, a day like today, you know, you're, you're at the, you're getting over this high of the one, you did 168.10, the high is 168.16. And it doesn't look like you're going to get that 47 million that you need. So that's intriguing, especially when you get a day that you've had the markets up so dramatically, folks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.